Hello all, welcome to part 27 of STNG training series. In this session, I am going to explain and practically demonstrate how to execute the STNG tests at package level in TestNG XML file. So let's get started. So how to execute the test at package level? by providing the details in the testng xml file is something that i am going to practically demonstrate in this session guys first we have to create this testng xml file and in the testng xml file we have to provide this kind of structure okay so let me practically demonstrate this for you with a uh, with a kind of example so that you will get uh, habituated how to use this one and all okay so i'll open the eclipse id guys uh, here we have a sample project which is already configured with testng and all those stuff as i already covered in the previous sessions and here under SRC test Java, we have a package known as test package. Under this test package, I'll create a new class known as login class. Click on finish. Inside the login class, I'll create some tests. Public void. I'll create some dummy tests, guys. Uh, dummy tests, guys. Uh, it's not real time tests. They are dummy tests. Okay. I'll not write any Selenium code, but I'll put some uh, system dot out dot statements in Java, uh, like in place of the real Selenium code. Okay. Uh, our focus is mainly on uh, how to how to add that packages thing and how to execute the test at package level from the test and XML file. For that, we are creating all this all this uh, stuff. Okay, public void login with valid credentials. I'll say login with valid credentials. I'll say the rate test. I'll give the priority also. Priority is equal to one. Okay. I'll import this at the rate test from test and library. And here I'll say system dot out dot sample print statement I'm printing. I'll copy this name of the test. Double quotes I'll provide the name of the test hyphen the name of the class from which it got executed. Login. Now next test public wide login with login with valid login with valid email and invalid password. Okay, invalid password. And here again at the rate test. Priority is equal to two. Okay, here I'll write a print statement system dot out print DLN. Login with valid email and invalid password hyphen login. Okay, done. Next one. Public wide login with invalid email, invalid email and valid password. This is the third one. I'll say at the rate test priority is equal to three system dot out dot print ln system dot out dot print ln i'll write login with invalid email and valid password uh, i have to provide this in double quotes guys Sorry. here i have to provide double quotes first and hyphen login that's it now, few more tests I'll create. Public wide login with invalid credentials, both invalid email and invalid password, valid credentials. Then here I'll say at the rate test priority is equal to four. Okay. Now system dot out dot print ln login with invalid credentials hyphen. Okay, what is happening? Hyphen login. Then last one, last test for this particular class. You can create any number of tests, but uh, here login without providing credentials. Without providing credentials, I can create any number of test case, but uh, for sample in this login class, I'm creating only these five tests uh, and also specifying the priorities guys in advance so that they will be executing in a uh, this priority order. Okay. So here also same thing. System dot order print ln login without providing credentials hyphen login. Okay. Now save this guys, login and five test methods got completed. I'll similarly under the test package, I'll create one more thing known as, uh, sorry, I'll create one more class, right click new class known as register class, register class. Click on finish. I'll create some test methods here. Some four test methods I'll create here. Public wide, register with, register with mandatory fields, mandatory fields, register with mandatory fields. Here I'll say the rate test for the mouse. Import this. Now here I'll say system.out.println. Here I'll give the priority also, guys. 
priority is equal to one. Register with mandatory fields, iPhone. Register class, okay. Done. Then public wide, public wide. Register with all fields. Second test method. So here, at the rate test, priority is equal to two. Now here, system dot dot print ln. The double quotes give the name of the test followed by hyphen register class. Then another test public wide register without providing any details. Third test and here also at the rate test priority is equal to three and here system dot out dot print ln register without providing any details hyphen register. And one more test, public wide, register duplicate account. Okay, register duplicate account. At the rate test, priority is equal to four. Priority is equal to four. And here, system dot order twenty ln double quotes register duplicate account hyphen register. Okay, four tests in this register having the priority set. Now I'll create one more class. I'll say search, search dot Java. Click on finish. And here I'll create some three test methods public wide search with valid product. And here at the rate test, at the rate test, priority, priority is equal to one. Import this at the rate test from test engine. Now here, system dot order 20 ln. Search with valid product, hyphen, search class. Next text, public wide, search with invalid product. Another test case. Here, at the rate test, priority is equal to two. System dot order 20 ln. Search with invalid product, hyphen search. And one more test, public wide search without providing any product, without providing any product. Here, right at the rate test, at the rate test. And here, priority is equal to three. Priority is equal to three. System dot out dot print ln. System dot out dot print ln. Yeah, I'll say search without providing any product. iPhone search. Done. Okay, three tests done, guys. Now here we have login, register, and search. I'll now right click on the project and select test ng and say convert to test ng. And here a test ng XML file will be created directly under the project with this particular text, XML content. Open the test ng XML file. Here class level uh, classes are provided. So whatever the class class uh, you provided here, okay, in the test engine XML file, that classes will run. But I don't want to run at class level. Rather, I want to run at the package level. What is the package test package? Instead of providing individual classes like this, I'll remove this part, guys. I'll remove this part. In place of that classes class and all those stuff, I'll write something known as packages. Packages, guys. Okay. If you have multiple packages having multiple classes, this will be useful. Packages and give something known as package name is equal to what is the name of the package under which login register and such is a test package you the test package here and say slash done okay this is what you have to do guys executing the test at the package level guys okay instead of executing the test as class level i am changing it to package level by providing the package name all the tests under the package all the class classes and having the test methods under the package will be running guys here login register and such related tests are under the test package so here five tests four tests three tests Okay, five plus four is nine, nine plus three is 12. Total 12 tests should run from this package, from test package. Right click on testng.xml file and run test, uh, run as a testng suit. All the 12 tests should run, guys. You see, 12 tests got run, 12 tests got passed. And if I go to the testng XML uh, test results also, you can see from login, five tests. One, two, three, four, five. From register, five tests. One, two, three, four, five. And from search, three tests, one, two, three. Okay, and also in the output, as you can see, the proper output has been displayed here. Okay, login with valid credentials, login, 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 four, five, till here is five tests, and register, 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 th four tests, and such, 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 three tests, okay? So this is how we can execute the test at the package levels uh, in test engine, guys. So hope, guys, you understood how to 
is equal to the test at package level in TestNG. So that's all for this session. In the next session, I'm going to cover another topic of TestNG. Till then, see you. Bye bye.